Hello, and welcome to iSharePoint All. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to use Visual Studio Code for all your development with SharePoint. Let's go ahead and get started. And I just, I just figured this out actually. And if it's already being done, nobody told me about it. So what you do is, um, usually when I develop, I have all my web parts in a web part library. So I create for myself a web part library. Oop, I'm in OneDrive. I don't want to be there. Here you go. So I have a library called web part. And for all the web parts that I create, all the client side web parts that I create, um, I have one right now called help desk. Um, I create a folder for that web part, give it the appropriate name. And I put all my files, my HTML files, CSS, uh, JavaScript files in there. So in here, I have a help desk. I have my JavaScript file and HTML file. So what I'm going to do is sync this so that I can just code from Visual Studio. I mean, this is SharePoint Online, so you can also code from, code from do it from the browser. Um, but I like it better from um, Visual Studio Code. So what you have to do, go back to my web part because it's where all my folders will be. I just all you do is just sync, sync this library to your computer. And what it does is it creates this help desk folder uh, or, or whatever inside of your, whatever folders you create inside of OneDrive. It just syncs it um, or everything in this web part library and, and syncs it in OneDrive and also creates a copy on your, on your local computer. Um, and whatever changes you make, it just automatically syncs it. So let me go to my my local so this is my local. I already did this already so here's my help desk as you can see status I mean, you know it's connected it's OneDrive and it's that web part SharePoint set is the SharePoint Saturday site web part and this is the files that I have so whatever changes I make to my to the to these files it makes it in SharePoint so all I do is just open up the folder, which I already did, open up that help desk folder in Visual Studio Code. And then whatever changes I make, it just syncs it. So let's, so let me prove that to you. So let me open this up. Let me refresh the page. And as you can see, it says modified 10 minutes ago and the HTML file was modified 13 minutes ago. So let me go ahead and make a change. So let me remove this test, remove that test save let me go to my html5 and just put a space or something and then save and so the modified should change so as you can see help desk was modified a few seconds ago html a few seconds ago and that's how you can do all your coding in visual studio code and take advantage of all the features of visual studio um, and automatically sync with sharepoint i hope this helps someone out there and thanks for watching. Bye.